Hey guys, welcome to The Whiny Wench. My name is Gabe, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this painting right here. Now we only need three brushes to paint this. We're gonna need one fat brush like this. And this is about a one inch fat brush. I'm gonna name him Megatron. And we have this brush right here, which is like a, probably about an eighth inch round brush. I'm gonna name him Ignacio. And finally we have this tiny little detail brush, and his name is Tika. Let's do it. Let's take Megatron and dip him in the water and we're going to start filling up this background here with black. So we're going to make long brush strokes from one side of the canvas to the other. And we're going to bring this blackness down to about halfway down the canvas and we'll block in our moon right here in the center of the canvas and it's going to be about 8 inches wide. Everything above that black line we can go ahead and fill it in with black. Wash off Megatron. We're going to clean him up, put him in his bathtub, swirl him around. You want to get all the black paint off of there because the next color we're going to use is pure white. And we'll take that white paint and we'll make one line right underneath our horizon line right there. So then we can take a scoop of our blue paint, put it in the middle, take a scoop of our white paint, and we're going to mix it together and we're going to be making a nice light blue color. So now we can take Megatron and put him in this light blue paint right here and we'll make one line going underneath that white line that we made earlier and we want to slowly bring it up into the white. So going from one side of the canvas to another, we're slowly going to bring our brush into the white so it naturally creates this beautiful gradient from light blue to white. Let's bring that light blue down a little bit, about four inches down. Now take a little bit of blue and add it to that light blue that we made. We're just going to make a little bit of a, a darker blue, like right in the middle. And we'll take our brush and we'll make a line going across the bottom of the light blue and with the same strategy, we're slowly going to bring it up into the light blue so it naturally mixes together and creates this nice gradient from this medium blue up to the light blue. And we'll just bring it down. We're about four more inches down here. You should have about three inches left of white on the bottom. And now let's go ahead and clean off our brush. And the next color we're going to use is natural blue, so the pure blue. And we're just going to make one line going on the bottom of that lighter blue that we made. And we're slowly going to bring it up so it naturally mixes together and we have this really nice gradient going from true blue to light blue to white. Let's clean off our brush one more time and we're going to be using the true blue. And I'm just going to go around the moon and make some horizontal lines. And I'm just going to fill up the space around the moon. I'm not really going to bring this blue out into the edges because this is supposed to be like the glow of the moon is shining a little bit. So, you know, I want the light to get a little bit darker as it goes. And now we're ready for the fog! The fog! You can go ahead and put Megatron into his water cup and the next brush we're gonna use is Ignacio. And we'll put a little bit of white paint on him and we'll just take our brush and in a circular fashion, we're just gonna go across the right side of the painting. And I just have a little bit of white paint and I'm slowly gonna bring it up, up, and up, and up in this circular motion until it naturally just starts disappearing into the background that I made. And then you're gonna use this method to make the paint be less and less opaque and give you that cloudy, wispy, foggy texture. Go ahead and do the same thing on the left side as well. And we'll take Ignacio and we're gonna make our moon nice and round again so we can flash out all those little bumps and imperfections in our moon to make it nice and round. And I'll also go over my fog a little bit more too. Add some highlights in there. And now we're ready for the rock. So we'll go ahead and find the center of our canvas, go down about two to three inches and put a little black mark right there. And now we'll go just under our fog where the fog kind of meets like the white water and we'll put a nice little black mark right here. And now our job is to connect those two black dots with a jagged line right there. And now go to your left side of the canvas and go down about two thirds of the way on the left edge and make a nice black dot right there. And the last little marker we're gonna make is right here, one inch from the bottom, about two thirds from the right. And we're just gonna connect these two with a little rounded hill top right there. And now we'll go ahead and just make this shape right here, make sure we have a nice little cove. And we can fill in everything else with this black paint right here. Let's put Megatron and Ignacio into his water cup and now we're going to use little Tito. So we'll go ahead and dip Tito into the water cup and then dry him off on the paper towel. Let's use some black paint and we'll get started with the wolf here. We're going to start off with the wolf leg and we're going to make a little diagonal line. And you want to push down very, very light. Make sure your line quality is 
nice and thin so you don't do these legs heavy handed. You want them to start off thin so that way you can add some musculature later if you want. And you see that little triangle right there? That little triangle between the legs is, is important. That's a negative space and we want to keep that throughout this whole wolf process. And we'll draw this curved line going backwards and we're going to keep that negative shape there too between his hind legs and his front legs. And we'll puff out his chest like this and he has like a large neck so his, he has an, another extra little hump there. And we'll make his back connect right there to his chest and we can fill in all that blackness. And I'll go ahead and take the tip of little Tito and we're going to draw his bottom jaw and then we're going to block out his snout right here. So you should have this little shape for his head and his snout and you can fill it in black too. And you can see the wolf really start to come along now. So I'm just going to go ahead and make his head a little bit thicker. And I'm going to take my brush and put it to the side like this so I can get the shape of his ear. So I'm actually using the points of my brush to make the point of his ear. So turn your brush sideways so you can get this nice little shape right here. And there you go, there's a little ear. And from there we can start making his neck thicker from the back. So I'm just going to draw an extra hump right here because these wolves have very very thick necks. And to balance that out I'm going to make his back a little bit thicker too. You want this thing to be proportional. So here we go, making the back a little bit more round. And once you have the whole wolf drawn in, you can really start to see how it's coming along and adjust proportions accordingly. Alright, so we're just going to flesh out some areas, smooth out his neck a little bit here. I'm going to make his chest a little bit lower. So the chest line goes right into the belly of the beast. And then we can take our brush and draw a little hump right here for his foot. This is where his foot's going to go. And now we can start adding some musculature to his legs, making him a little bit thicker. Because the legs feed the wolf. So I can just use the point of my brush and follow it up and just make it a little bit thicker near the top of the leg. And I'm going to do the same thing to the front leg as well to make them even and proportional. And we'll go ahead and smooth out the neck and the chest area. Make it a little bit more gradual and not such an extreme hump. Congratulations, you are done with the wolf. And now it's time to do these little grass blades. So you can take little Tito and we're going to point him up so we can use the tip of the brush. And we're just going to make some little grass blades. And now you can make them different sizes, some long ones, some short ones. And some of these actually have like little leaves and flowers. So you can just draw a series of dots on either side of them to make those. And with some of these, they all end up at the same point on the bottom. So just draw a couple lines and then have them all end up on the same point and move on and create your next series. And we'll put some more grass blades up here. And when you're done with that, just clean off little Tito and we're going to use pure white to make some of these stars. Use the point of your brush and we're just going to make some tiny little dots here and there. I suggest you make it random, put some stars close to each other, put some far away. If you want, you can draw your favorite constellation. And if you want some shining stars, you want to push down very lightly and at first make a large plus symbol. And then in the center, make a tiny little times symbol or a multiplication symbol. And that's the very last step. So once you have that, you can put your finishing touches and the piece is done. Here they are side by side. Look how wonderful. And it's ready to hang up wherever you'd like. And if you have any questions about this process whatsoever, just drop them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Last week I did a giveaway for a painting, so this is the winner of the giveaway. Congratulations, just hit me up on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact info and mail the mermaid painting over to you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay creative.